How do you create a strong personal brand on social media, especially when you're just starting out your career as a thought leader? How do you build this enigmatic brand that people love, people you know want to connect with, people engage, people trust, and then they buy from you over and over, they refer their friends to you, they share their, your content all over. That's some dream, right? How do you build this? How do you do this? In this video, I will share with you how I have been able to enjoy this. And I hope that you will take action and you will learn a lot from this video. Are you ready to learn? Really? Let's do this. Welcome back to my channel, your community. This is a hub for thought leaders who are committed to helping other people to become more, do more, and have more. So if you are a coach, a, a speaker, a trainer, a consultant, and you're looking for a home where you can learn, you can learn the tech, get the mentoring, get the branding, get the tips that you need to succeed in your business, then this is the hub you want to remain in. And so, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification, okay? Good. Now let's get to why we are here today. Now, let's talk about what a strong personal brand is, okay? Uh, to me, a strong personal brand is a thought leader. That is, somebody who is considered a leader in their industry, somebody whose opinion counts, somebody who other people look up to, to make decisions. People who, when they say jump, others ask how high, I'm telling you. To me, that is who a strong personal brand is. Somebody who commands influence. Somebody who commands, you know, this, this uh, attention from others and they impact people in no small feat. Now, if you are a coach, you need to build a strong personal brand. Why? Because what you do is nothing short of a miracle. You help other people to live a transformed life, to be better, to do better. You deserve to influence people, you deserve to have a strong personal brand. And if you're on social media, the five tips I will share with you today will move you closer to becoming that brand. So I have had the honor of winning two phenomenal awards in my industry. So I was awarded the Business Coach of the Year uh, in, in 2018. I was awarded the Coach of the Year in 2019. I was awarded one of the 100 most inspiring ladies in Nigeria in 2020. So I do know what I'm talking about. And guess what? All of these awards, denomination, everything happened on social media. Nobody you know, knows where I am physically, but it happened on social media and I got it. All right, so you really, really want to pay attention to your brand on social media. The first thing I would say that has worked for me so well is educating with your content. Never ever assume that one content is too tiny or is too small to share with other people. No, don't make that assumption. See, there are people who are where you used to be some five years ago. And those people have no idea what or everything you know that you have spent money and years gathering. So educate, teach. Don't just teach the, the you know, don't teach based on what you consider the standard education or, you know, how things should be. Teach from what has worked for you. Teach from what you believe in. So that's what I always do. I come here all the time and I'm teaching from what has worked for me. Not something I read in a book or Googled. As a matter of fact, I never, ever, ever Google any of my contents. I don't. If I don't believe I have contents in my head to teach it, I don't bother. 
I'm telling you. The things that you may think are mundane, these things, others are still struggling to figure them out. So educate. Try to remember the things you used to struggle with before you became this, you know, coach who knows so much in your industry. Try those small, small, small questions. Educate people. Answer FAQs. And before you know it, you begin to pull influence. You begin to pull that, that, you know, that like that, oh my goodness, this, this coach loves us. And that community of those that you are helping. Okay? Number two, inspire with your content. Oh goodness. Inspire people. Let them see that, that things can be, th things are possible. Because we all need one level of inspiration or the other every now and then. All right? Inspire people. Tell your own story. How you went through something and came out. Okay? Inspire with the mistakes you made and what you now know better. Inspire with, with you know, with a story you read and how you could relate to that story. Inspire with the challenges you are currently facing. Oh my goodness. I remember some months ago when, you know, I shared on my page through a series of posts how I lost over 150 million naira. This is about $200,000 or so at that time. And it was due to a bad money decision. And people were involved. It got messy. We had lawyers. I lost my sleep. I was caught, called out on social media. And it, it was just, you know, when I was sharing the story, oh, my DM, you know, just burst up, burst up, burst up in flames. <laughs> it was on fire. In fact, a few days ago, somebody reached out to me and said, uh, Kotemi, hello, I just lost 30 million naira now to a business uh, deal, and you are the only person that came to my mind to talk to about it. And these people didn't even bother, you know, leaving comments or anything on my post, but they were in my DM. They could relate to that failure. So think about it as well. How can you inspire? No, no, no. Now, mind you, I am in no way asking you to push out your family history and all your, your, your all, the, all, the, all the skeletons in your cupboard and no 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 i'm only saying to as much level as you can afford it as you as you believe that you can you can do it just be a bit vulnerable and show people what it's like being you show them you know what 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 is possible so don't just share with them the the problem Share with them the solution. I always recommend that you share when you've been able to figure out a solution. And then share the pains you, were, you, you went through and then see how I've been able to come out. That way, it's inspiring. I hope you get that. So don't just go share and, you know, looking for, looking for pity parties. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Not on my watch. Not if you are a member of this phenomenal community. Okay? Good. So, <laughs> inspire with your content. Okay, the, the, the next one is please use professional pictures unless you've mastered the art of photo editing with your mobile phone, okay? Then if not, I recommend that you go do a photo shoot, a full day session or two hour session, go with like five clothes and you, why? Because uh, uh, the brands we love, that the brands that show us what life can look like, that that we aspire to be like. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. People are not looking for their past. They are looking for their future. So look like the kind of brand that your ideal clients are looking for, that, for, that they can relate with, all right? So look like your future, put in the effort to have fine, beautiful, clean pictures that you will use to sell your brand. Number four hack I have for you is use videos. Yes, preferably live videos. So decide once in a month, once in you know once in two weeks, just share a video that we can see you. You know, have this back and forth. Let your energy ooze out. For me, I dominated Facebook and Instagram with my videos some years back. Like videos every week, I was publishing video, 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 video. <laughs> And from there, people could see my energy, they could relate, they could love me, they could, you know, I mean, I really built, you know, that strong personal brand with my videos. And uh, really, 
you agree that I do have a personality with my videos, right? So imagine me hiding this from the world. Come on now. So next one is for you to show lifestyle. Yes, this is still close to uh, the fact that people want to be someone more than them. So have an aspirational personal brand that you show your lifestyle. So preferably your beautiful lifestyle. I am not asking you to fake it till you make it. If you don't have a beautiful lifestyle, don't post now. There's, there's nothing wrong with no posting, <laughs> okay? But if you have to post it, make sure that it is looking beautiful, okay? Maybe you are having lunch with a client. That is a lifestyle, okay? Have a picture with your client, look beautiful and post and put a story around it. Okay, uh, if you are in the office, okay, put a camera, you know, just over there and then uh, record you working for like the next 10 minutes and then post it on your reels and, and, and show the behind the scenes of, you know, of, of your life as a coach, you know, or, or as a brand. Then maybe you're going to church, do a short reel of your family or being in church or anything, you know, just lifestyle. What is beautiful lifestyle? Not that you are... You are soaking Gary and uh, Garnot. You say, ah, you know, how would they hustle? I don't want to see that. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Again, I'm only saying that you want to curate, curate an image that you want other people to see. That is how you build a strong personal brand. So I've told you, educate with your content, inspire with your content, use professional pictures, use videos, and show a beautiful, aspirational lifestyle, okay? Yes, yeah, so now I have some success tips for you, uh, which includes show up like your future. I mean, I've said that already, so please just always think, before you do a post, does this post look like my future? Aha, uh -huh, yes, <laughs> even if it's not your present, but like your future. Show up like your future. Next one is show up consistently, not necessarily frequently. Okay, I am not a fan of frequent posting on social media, but I'm a fan of showing up qualitatively. And quality takes time to, to cook, okay? And it takes time to come up with. So show up qualitatively. And finally, use storytelling. Oh, yes. Storytelling is, is a tool you want to master. And I think I will do a video on storytelling very soon. Uh, so watch out for it. I will do you know, some, some simple tips and hacks that you can uh, deploy to create beautiful, engaging stories on your social media page. All right? Good. And I think another extra tip for you is study brands that you consider uh, strong in your niche and then see what you can learn from them. So if you think any brand is strong in your niche, just pay attention to them on social media. What are they posting? How are they posting? How are they speaking? How are they showing up, right? What kind of content is creating engagement, all right? That's what you also want to see, what you can learn from them, and then implement at your own end, all right? So I hope that this has been a phenomenal, instructive, educational video for you. If yes, let me know in the comments which of these tips resonate the most with you. And if you have questions, email me, tami at tami at gbewa.com. And then if you have questions as well, ask in the, in the comments. And I have tons of resources, a link to book a call with me, links to my programs in the description box. So make sure you check it out and see which is, you know, you find very helpful, all right? And if you watch to this very end, do a screenshot, do a screenshot. <laughs> and post on Instagram telling me one thing that you've learned in this edition and tag me at Temi Ajibewa. Okay, post on your Instagram stories, tag me at Temi Ajibewa, and then I will reshare to my community. All right, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. I remain Temi Ajibewa, the coach's coach. Bye for now. <laughs>